Hey guys, and welcome to Stiggy's Nerd Cave. We're doing an unboxing of the Razer Orakai um, gaming mouse. Now, this is a. Uh, I've not actually used uh, any Razer equipment, but I've heard good things about them. So uh, I'm pretty anxious to try this out. Um, I bought this at Walmart. You can see, I think you can see on the tag there, it says $69.96. That's what they are originally. Um, I got this one on sale for $27. That's why I bought it. Um, it says it's a wired slash wireless Bluetooth gaming mouse. Um, I'm not a huge fan of wireless for gaming, um, but because of the wired wireless fact and the fact that it was $27, I went ahead and bought it anyways. Um, had it just been wireless, I probably would have bought it anyways for the price. So we'll go ahead and get this opened here. There's a little bit of tape here at the top. Cut that, and we'll open it on up here. Like I said, I got it on sale, so and I feel like I got a pretty decent deal. Um, so that box is empty. So on top here we have the Razer mouse. As you can see, it is wired, wireless. Excuse me. Again, not a huge fan of wireless mouse for gaming. It's a little small. Um, we'll do take a better look at that here in just a second. Um, so here's the mouse I'm currently using, and it's a big old just plain old laser mouse. Um, so it looks like we got some stuff here. Um, it's a little package, congratulations, there's no turning back. Um, we've got some, looks like a fairly nice little bit of uh, information about it. Some razor stickers, that's kind of cool. Um, probably put those up in the nerd cave here somewhere. Uh, and then just a little booklet about the gaming mouse itself. Um, I believe I've seen something that had to do with maybe um, different weights. That'd be cool. I don't know. No, it doesn't appear that I've seen anything like that. I thought maybe I did, but uh, no. Unless they're all in there and I can take them out. Let's get in there. I think once I get used to its small size and everything, it'll be better. Um, that's a good looking mouse. You can see it's got the Razer logo on it. Um, it's got that real cool Razer look. What's kind of cool here that I'm seeing is um, that if I want it to be a wired mouse, I plug that in and it looks just like that. That's kind of cool. It even came with a cap for the USB and a couple of batteries. Um, personally, what I'll end up doing is I'll probably end up hooking this to my... This monitor here has the blue... The monitor there, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let me slip up here. You can't. Anyways, I have a monitor that has a USB port hookup in it. And I also have a 5 port powered USB hub. What I'll probably do is leave that hooked up to the hub. And, um, and then um, just... When I want to put this in my laptop, I'll just take the mouse off of this little USB deal here and instead of unplugging the wire. And, you know, because when I'm on the go and I've got it in my backpack and I'm rocking around or whatever, you know, um, I don't typically need a wired mouse. And um, I thought maybe it was going to be rechargeable, but these don't look. I wonder if it can be recharged. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. See? Like I said, I just got it today. Um, see if I can find where the batteries go here. I'm not sure what that does. I'll do a full review of the entire mouse once I uh, have a chance to play with it. I am really not sure where the batteries go. I may have to consult the manual for that. It does have these little rubber feet on there, which is kind of great because it, even on here it slides just about like it does on here. Ooh, just got to figure out how the batteries go in. I have no idea what that is. So I'll look up here in the manual real quick and just see if it shows a quick battery. 
Oh, so that's the power on and off button is down on the bottom there. Um, okay, so the whole top comes off, it looks like. So if I just, okay, yeah, sure enough. Um, I don't know. I'll have to find out if I can put rechargeable batteries in there and um, make that work. That'd be cool if those could be rechargeable batteries and that it would charge from the USB itself. Um, I think that'd make it way cooler. Doesn't appear that there's any lights on here. So I believe we're in the on position now. Yeah. And there should be lights on there. Apparently they're not lighting up and I don't know. There should be something there telling me that it's pairing. But I don't probably have the Bluetooth turned on on my computer. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in real quick. Unplug my old mouse. For the moment, I'm just going to plug it in here at the top and plug it in here. And it does have some lights. It does. That's awesome. It has one green light, which I like the green color. Um, it's installing the software now. Now, I believe when you're using it like this, you don't need the batteries. I don't think we can find out by pulling the battery. So that, that's cool. That, so so you don't need the batteries if you're, you're plugged into the USB port, which I didn't figure you would. Any second here I should have a mouse out here. So the cable is a little bit short. Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of, it's kind of a short cable. It wasn't very long. It's taking a little bit to install. Switched on here. Like I said, well, I think once I get used to the small size, I think it'll be a pretty fun mouse to play with. Um, if you're building a super big gaming rig or something like that, probably not the mouse for you. USB cable's too short and stuff. But I think it's perfect for a laptop. And yet we still don't have any mice. Let me check. Looks like we're still installing. So, um, once I've had some time to play with this, uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll um, do a rev an actual review on it, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, so this has been an unboxing of the Razer Orakai, I guess. I don't really know how to say that. The Razer Orakai. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, gaming mouse, wired slash wireless. Um, and... Uh, that's about it for this video, guys. I appreciate you for watching, and um, hopefully uh, you'll be seeing some Windows 10 previews coming out, videos of that. Um, I just got the mouse working. So um, we'll, we'll do some of those videos in the future. I'm going to try to do a video every Monday. Uh, hopefully you guys will catch this one Monday. And what's really cool is it just installed Razer's Synopsys software. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to go through that. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.